Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We have had a few requests now on some of our videos of people asking if we could do any content around um, any of the meals we do while we, we're camping. So, as we are camping this weekend, we're going on a three day trip. I thought it was a, a great opportunity to show you how we prep um, food wise and, and everything that goes on with that for our uh, a trip. So, we're going to take through that today. The footage is going to be a little bit here and there because some of the filming is going to be done on site as we're camping, some will be done here. The lighting will be different because it's going to be different times of day, but anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll take you through. We, uh, we prep for a camp. So first of all, we get ourselves a piece of paper to write down the um, the number of days we're going and how many meals we're gonna need for them days. You could do this on a, a spreadsheet, I suppose, if you're posh and you know what you're doing. Um, we just draw it out in lines, just like make little boxes with breakfast, lunch, dinner, and the number of days we're going. Then we decide what we're actually going to have on them days, food-wise. We just jot it down in the boxes, so we know exactly on what days we're going to have. I mean, we can mix and match. So we made our list now on the days that we are going and what meals we're going to need. Obviously, you can see the crosses mean um, so on the Saturday we're travelling down, so we're not going to need any breakfast on that day. And again, on the Tuesday. Um, lunch time and the evening meal we're not going to need because we're not going to be there. So some of this we need to prep and make now to freeze to say it with us and some of the other stuff can be made on site and there's a couple of other bits and bobs we're going to prep that accompany other meals so we'll get on with that now and we'll take you through it. So first up we're going to make a simple chicken curry with uh, just basic ingredients some jars of curry sauce, some uh, chicken seasoning spice mix, obviously chicken breast and some pilo rice which we're going to cook once we get onto uh, the campsite. Um, first of all, give your chicken breast a bit of a clean, dab them down. Then we're going to cut them up into chunks, um, whichever sort of size you like, like medium chunks, I don't like massive pieces. Um, then put them all into a bowl. Once we've done that, we're gonna add the spice mix, which on these particular type, I think they're from Aldi, the spice tubs are on top of the, um, the lids of the jars. So you just peel the foil back, pour in the spice mix, and let it marinate for a little while. Once your uh, chicken's marinated, and you're happy with the color and texture, Get a pan on, or a wok, or whatever you've got on, some heat, put a bit of oil in, uh, and then just fry off your chicken. With the amount that we've done, we'll probably do it in batches, not to like overcrowd the pan. Brown it off, um, and then just set it to one side. In the meantime, I've had our slow cooker just warming up at the side. So I'm simply going to pour the chicken in um, and then just put the jars of the, the curry sauce on top, put the lid on and literally just leave it for four hours on high just to get the chicken nice and tender. It's pretty much cooked through anyway but just to like it um, sort of melt in your mouth type of thing. And once it's cooked, four hours have gone past and it looks uh, nice and hot and steaming. We put it into these takeaway trays, you can buy them from any supermarket. Um, just your standard like Chinese takeaway tub. Put them up to the top, put the lids on, let them cool right down and stick them in the freezer. These are going to act as like ice blocks in our cool box as well because we're going to eat these later on in the uh, camping session. So these won't be eaten as soon as we get there. They'll act as a bit of an ice block and by the time we come to eat them on say like the third day, they'll be defrosted and ready to uh, to warm up. So 
So the second meal we're going to prepare is another easy one, it's a simple stir fry. So you're just going to get yourself some uh, standard white rice, long grain or whatever. Um, boil it and then allow it to cool until it's completely cold and, and sort of all the moisture is going to do it. Then you're going to need to get yourself some chicken. On this occasion we've actually used frozen chicken pieces. Um, we use them all the time, they're brilliant, really convenient. And also you want to get yourself whatever vegetables you like, peppers, onions, peas, garlic, whatever you like or whatever you've got left in the fridge. Uh, give it a slice and a, a chop, however you want to do. Just get everything prepped and ready to, to go. So once all our bits are prepped, all our veggies and whatnot, we get our pan back on the heat. Then we're gonna add the chicken pieces and let them fry off until they sort of go, got a golden color and obviously a cook through. And once them are cooked through, we're gonna add our vegetables in. And then give them a stir around, make sure everything's cooked through. Not totally cooked, but just, just enough to get some flavor and color on there. And once all that is cooked together, the last thing we do is add in the rice. Just spoon it in a bit at a time and mix it round as you go in. When all the rice is done and all the veggies done, uh, at the end I like to add couple of little um, spices some madras curry powder just a little bit of that and some Chinese fire spice just to sort of like give it a bit extra flavor because just plain rice on its own can be a little bit boring so yeah chuck a bit of that in mix it around again and then uh, then we're nearly there So once all that's mixed in and you're happy with everything, uh, it's over to the takeaway tubs again. So just fill the tubs up, let, let them cool down and then straight into the freezer again. So now we're going to move on to some fajitas. So first of all, get yourself chicken breast or two, depending on how much you want, and slice some into sort of medium slices. Once you've sliced them up, just chuck them into a bowl um, where you can mix the other ingredients and the fajita seasoning. Have some peppers and onions and whatever vegetables you want to put in your fajita mix. Uh, slice them up lengthways again, so they're all roughly the same size. So once that's done and sliced, put it all into the bowl with the chicken. Mix it all around, add in your seasoning. A little side note, um, as I recorded this voiceover after I made the, the video, I probably wouldn't put the vegetables with the chicken and then put the fajita mix in because it looks a bit rank, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I'd probably just season the chicken, leave the vegetables separate, and then add the vegetables as you uh, are gonna cook them. So then once it's all mixed in, then put it into a sealable freezer bag we're going to just leave this in the cooler because it's going to be eaten on the first day that we get there i think it's probably going to be if we check our little um planner i think it's the evening meal of the day that we get there So next up, we're gonna prep some food, uh, not meals themselves, just food that accompany other meals. Now, all these was done on the afternoon before we went camping the following morning. Um, so 
some of the stuff was, is not being frozen because of that, we're just going to use it straight away. So the first thing you're going to see us prep is for our breakfast meals. So we like to, we all like, um, it's a sort of hash brown sausage, like a McMuffin basically. Um, so we're going to cook the hash browns now in the, uh, in the air fryer and the rest of the stuff, the patties and the um, muffins, we're going to cook once we're on site camping. Also with the curry, we're going to have some um, garlic bread. So we're going to put that in the oven now, just cook it as per the instructions on the back, chop it up, uh, put it in freezer bag, or allow it to cool, put it in the freezer bag and put it in the fridge overnight and then straight into the cooler and keep it in there until we're at camp. Also, we're going to grate some cheese. We just have a bag of grated cheese that we, that we take with us for anything cheese toasties, crumpets with cheese on, cheese on toast. Um, I'm also going to dice up an onion, a full onion, bag that up in a freezer bag because one of the meals, I think, is hot dogs, and I like fried onions on my hot dog. So that's pretty much everything prepped now. Um, the next section you'll see will be actually at the campsite. So we'll head over there now. So we're on the campsite now. Um, what I did, I took a picture of our like meal schedule, if you remember me, writing it out on the pad. Um, so I'm just gonna have a look now, cause we're about one o'clock on the first day. Um, today being Saturday and for lunch today we're having uh, a beer, me, me, Cal and Riley will have a BLT um, on a baguette and Caitlin is going to have just a cheese, plain cheese baguette because she's a bit plain. So we'll get that going now. So pretty straightforward with this one, get your pan on the heat, bit of oil, put your bacon in there, get that cooking whilst that's doing slice yourself some tomatoes i like them fairly thin um, some lettuce and divide your baguette into equal portions so there's no arguing once the bacon's done put that on the bag wetter uh, with your lettuce a bit of sliced tomato and there you have it a nice quick easy lunch bon appetit So we're now uh, about quarter past six, so we're going to get our tea or evening meal or dinner sorted. And again, just looking at the picture on my phone of the food schedule we've got, um, it is going to be fajitas, which is a pretty simple meal. We prepped it at home, which we showed you a video of, um, and, and it's going to be the first sort of meal of the day, evening meal of the day, because we're not freezing it, we're just going to have it straight away so we'll, uh, we'll show you as we do that so we get the uh, freezer bag with the mix in um, out the cooler bag fire up a pan this time we're using a bigger like a wok obviously because there's a bit more stuff to put in um, and like I said before I wouldn't mix it all together because I like to eat with my eyes and if you look at this it looks absolutely rank um, so I will keep the vegetables separate and just add them in as you uh, as you arrive, mix it all around until it's all cooked. Um, get yourself a wrap with a bit of lettuce and your favourite condiment: a bit of chilli, a bit of uh, mayonnaise or perinaise. Assemble the wrap and eat. So it's now breakfast time. I've just checked on my phone our food schedule again. Um, for all these three, four days, we're gonna have the same for breakfast. It's just easier. We're gonna have um, breakfast muffins. So we'll take you through how we make them now. First of all, we get out our pre-cooked hash browns and the sausage patties, which are not pre-cooked, but they're just chilled. We also prep our muffins, just cut them in half, ready for toasting. 
get the pan heated up again um, and then you get your sausage patted in there get them cooking uh, just put a couple in at a time also at the same time just warm your hash browns up on another pan and get your muffins under the toaster because they're not very powerful these toasters so they take a while anyway um, yeah get it all going also me and Cal will have egg on ours the uh, the kids won't but we like to have egg so we'll get them going as well once everything's cooked simply assemble the breakfast muffin however you like in whatever order you like and simply eat So we just had a trip out to a local town, Bournemouth. Uh, we're back now. We're going to cook some lunch. Um, for today's lunch, we're going to have cheese toasties. So we'll just get them made up now. First of all, you're going to butter your slices of bread. Remembering that the side that you butter is actually going to be the side that you're going to cook. No, it's not going on the inside, if you like. Then using a ridge monkey and the bag of cheese that we grated, which is all that we prepped before we came. Put the cheese on top of the non-buttered side with the butter side down, shown in the video here. Um, put the top on, put your lid on, and then just keep turning it in the ridge monkey. If you don't happen to have a ridge monkey, you can easily do this just on a normal frying pan, just flipping it as you're, uh, as you're cooking it. And once it's done, simply serve with melted cheese pouring out the sides of it and, uh, and eat. So now we're back from our little crabbing trip. We're going to get our evening meal, our tea, our dinner, whichever one it is. Um, tonight we're going to have chicken curry with garlic bread. We prepped all that. You saw it earlier in the video. Um, we put it in the cool box. It was frozen. It's now defrosted. It kept the things in the cool box chilled uh, while it was frozen. So now we're going to cook it up for our meal tonight. We'll take you through it. We're back using the big pan again, the wok. Uh, get it on the heat. Open up your takeaway package, which has got the curry in. And simply pour it or scrape it into the pan because you're just going to warm it up uh, there's no real cooking involved it's just literally warming things up because we've already prepped it we're also having pilo rice with this now this is microwavable pilo rice but you can do it in a pan you just got to put a little bit of water in the bottom to stop it from catching uh, again you're just putting it in and warming it up So for the garlic bread, which we'd already prepped, we're just going to warm it through on the Ridge Monkey. Again, you don't have to use a Ridge Monkey, you could just use a normal frying pan or even under the grill. Once everything's warmed through, it's time to bring it all together, um, serve it up and enjoy yourself a bit of camp curry. So now it's lunchtime on about the third day. A uh, quick and easy one this time, we're gonna have hot dogs. I already prepped some onions before we came. I'll probably showed you that early on in the video. So we're gonna get them cooking now. So you get your pan on the heat again. Um, a pretty big one, because you're gonna get a few wieners in this. A bit of spray oil and get them warming up. a bit of fried onion on my hot dog so these are the ones we prepped earlier I've just been in the cool box so we'll get them out and get them frying off once your wieners are done and your onions if that's what you're having get your finger rolls out put it all together you've got to have uh, ketchup on it I like ketchup and American style mustard on my hot dogs 
and just uh, stuff them in your face. So we're going to cook our last meal now, which is going to be one we pre-prepared before we come out. We showed you that, it was the uh, stir fry. So we're just going to warm that through on the pan now. Um, add a bit of sweet chilli sauce because um, we all like that anyway. And that's it, that's pretty much how we sort of get an idea of what we're going to eat for each day. How many days we're coming, split it up into breakfast, lunch and dinner. Make the meals, what we need to at home. Anything else we can obviously cook on site here. Um, work out what days we're going to eat there, whether it needs freezing or whether we can just leave it in the cool box. And then, yeah, that's it. Pretty much get it out as we need it. Cook it up, warm it through. It's, it's mainly just warming stuff through rather than cooking it all from scratch. It's a bit difficult when you're camping. But I hope that gives you an idea. Helps you out on some things you can maybe do yourselves. Uh, I know I like watching videos like this for ideas, so hopefully it's helped somebody out. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.